This 24 inch wheel has 58 cutting teeth on it. They're three quarter inch square, so they're very heavy duty and they have a very large heavy duty piece of carbide on the tip. And what makes our system different from some other stump grinders is that we have teeth on both sides of the wheel so you can cut both going left and right. The frame on this model is able to swing left and right over 60 degrees. We offer two different versions of hydraulic systems. One that runs on dual remotes on your tractor and another that has its own self-contained valve block. This 24 inch model is rated for 25 to 60 PTO horsepower. Today we'll be running it on a tractor with 50 horsepower. The unit has dual hydraulic cylinders, one to raise and lower the head and one to swing the head left and right. The swing circuit has dual needle valves which allow you to adjust the swing speed. The raising and lowering cylinder has a nice uh, gauge on it to give you an idea how deep you're cutting. The first stump we're going to try today is a pine stump of approximately 16 inch diameter. It's about 4 inches above grade and I noticed as soon as we set up that we had a rock right here. You want to make sure that you inspect the work area before you do your grinding. Uh, pull out any rocks that you might see. These could damage or chip the carbide teeth if hit just right. This 24 inch model has a frame set up to mount on either category 1 or 2 tractors. The wheel speed is over 800 RPM when rated at a 540 input speed. There's a large heavy duty shield over the wheel to help protect uh, operators and things in the area from flying debris. There's also a very heavy rubber shield right here that uh, is on a pivoting frame so that it can roll out of the way if needed. The frame on this unit is made up of heavy wall 2 inch by 3 inch rectangle tubing which is bent in a shape which extends right down to the padded feet on the bottom and is supported by uh, thick plate steel between the two sides. The padded feet are really nice for use on uh, sod surfaces like we're doing today. It's going to help support the unit, keep it from damaging the turf too excessively. The frame has weight racks on both the left and right side. If you have a condition where you want more stability, more weight to your stump grinder, you can certainly add suitcase weights as explained in the owner's manual. The PTO driveline runs from the tractor to a gearbox and in between is a slip clutch. The slip clutch is really important to uh, protect the system from any uh, surges in torque or power, which might happen if you stall the wheel, if it gets uh, caught from cutting too much. The gearbox is a very large heavy duty gearbox with a flange mount. We're not using a, a hub style mount uh, because the flange style is much stronger. So I wanted to show you why it's so important that you have a stump grinder with a really wide swing arc. Uh, this box elder stump was only about 16 to 18 inches in diameter at its top, but when it's, once I got below grade, uh, the width here is over 34 inches from side to side. And I'm able to take that in one complete swing or, or uh, arc of the cutter. Uh, that really eliminates the amount of time uh, needed to move and make multiple passes, so it makes you a lot more productive. Be sure to check back as we make more videos like this and as always give us a call or check out our website if you have any questions.